Hey y'all, so welcome to today's video. Um, today is going to be my first ever tutorial and it's going to be a makeup tutorial. To, no. It's going to be a makeup tutorial using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and it's going to be a uh, easy, natural, everyday makeup look. And in this look I only use maybe four or five colors out of the Jaclyn Hill palette and this is what the overall look is. And so, um, sorry for the ugly faces, but um, Anywho, um, I use this look when I'm going literally wherever. It's just a super easy thing to do when you're wanting to go for a more natural look. And again, natural is like different for everybody. This is like not a bright lipstick, not fake lashes, not crazy colors, not any of that crazy stuff going on. This is just like something that's like easy and you can wear basically anywhere. I'm not a professional makeup artist and I just want you to know that because some people kind of get offended when people make YouTube videos about makeup and they're not professionally licensed to do so or to do makeup but I have been doing makeup since literally my whole life since like elementary school and I've seriously been wearing makeup since middle school so I do know a thing or two. I've done friends makeup. I've done random girls makeup before for different events and so I just really love makeup and so makeup is an art to me. It's a stress reliever. It's fun and it's my passion. I collect it. Yeah so this is the final look so I hope you like it. So to begin, as you can tell, I do have bangs and they are not a friend of putting on makeup. So I am going to have to put it in this pink headband to keep the bangs out of my face so I can do my makeup. So yeah, real cute, real cute. Um, so to start, we are going to first put on primer. And for the primer that I use is a color correcting face primer from Ulta. It's super affordable, super cheap. Um compared to other like um, nicer brands that may have primer, but this one is so good. I do have red spots on my face as you can tell. And so I really do enjoy this primer because it goes on so smoothly and it really works and it makes your face feel so soft, it smells good, and I just really like this primer. So I do very much recommend it. Um, so yeah, there's our primer. And then I do change foundations. Like my goal is to literally try every single kind of foundation. So I have tons and tons of foundations. But for today we are going to be using the Fenty Beauty foundation. And it is in the color, in the shade 210. And so um, I'm just going to pump a little bit of that. And then use the Sonia Kashuk, Kashuk, Kashuk brush that I got from Target to apply. And they were having a really big sale with Sonya's line in Target and so I kind of like racked up on a whole bunch of makeup brushes as you will see in this video um because they kind of like read oh I almost got foundation on me they um redid all of her line and like did a huge upgrade which it looks so good in Target now but um yeah so which I didn't see anything wrong with the old brushes but we're just going to apply that all over the face you cannot be too blended. It's shooting up everywhere. Um, sorry if I keep looking down. I do have my little mirror down here that um, I kind of like destroyed my room, if you can't tell, to make a little makeup table because I was like, I wanted to shoot this, but I had nowhere to actually film. But I could, because I need the natural lighting and I'm literally shooting this in my window, as you could see off my last video of my room tour. Um, I put my phone in between the cracks of my blinds to film. So, I got that all on my head blended. Okay, good enough. This isn't our main concern. We're focusing on the eyes today. But, um, but we are going to finish the whole face. So, I also have been going to the tandem bed and then skipping days and all this stuff so my skin is like up and down on the color wheel right now and so it's like what's going on but um anyway so that's why you can see that it's not like my perfect shade but anyway um for our concealer today we are going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape concealer and it is in the shade Fair Beige so we are just going to put that and I really don't use a whole lot of concealer I just use it to like um contour the face I guess I don't know and so this is literally what I do and if you're like you're not doing that right well there are no rules in makeup makeup is art as I said and so I feel like you can do pretty much anything you want with makeup and I 
don't see my main make oh here it is my makeup sponge it's really kind of dirty well it's not really dirty i just cleaned it yesterday but i've been using it and so um we're just gonna blend that in the face and again i'm kind of flattened through all of this because i'm trying to get to the eyes but this is like my everyday go-to look so i'm just gonna beat the face a little bit um and the sponge is damp, which really does help um, kind of make it a little stickier just, or, you know, more absorbent to whatever you're putting on the sponge. It makes it go into your face a little bit better. But I don't think that made any sense, but I know what I'm talking about. So it does look really light right now, but it's not going to be that bad in a minute. Um, okay, so for setting powder, sorry, I'm kind of like just doing everything without really telling you what I'm doing. I use the Ulta Beauty Mineral Setting Powder, and honestly, I just got this because it was like about to get too free of everything one time when I went in there, and so I just kind of like tried out random things, and that's how I discovered the primer originally, and I ended up really liking it, so I was like, let's just try a whole bunch of random stuff in Ulta because this really seems to be working, but all right. And with setting powder, I'm not really going to put a whole lot on right now because I don't really need it for today, but whatever. Okay, so for our bronzer, which I look like just a, a round white egg right now, so you, I need bronzer. And I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer, and it is really nice. I just got it, like, last week. It goes on really well, and then I'm just going to use this Sephora brush that I got in, like, a big kit several years ago. So, again, if I look down, it's because I'm looking at a mirror. But, and sometimes when, like, bronzer kind of goes on choppy sometimes. So, you might want to, um, I cannot talk. Go over, like, the edges of it with back with your foundation brush without putting anything on just to kind of, like, soften it out or at least that's what I do I don't know again I'm not a professional and then um I'll put it under here to kind of just like contour the face and my face is super like puffy right now because I've had a lot of salt today but um anyway so for eyebrows I'm actually the worst when it comes to eyebrows I don't always use an eyebrow pencil or anything like that well, I mean I do but not all the time so what I normally do is take a little tiny brush like this and I will go into a dark brown color and I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette sorry it's super dirty my makeup is literally like a it's all just covered my makeup's covered in makeup so and I go in this dark brown shade a lot I can't find my color sheet right or my the name sheet for these colors but I go in this dark brown shade right here and I literally just like fill in my eyebrows and honestly if you don't want to like waste not waste money but like spend money on an eyebrow pencil just do that because it really does kind of fill in unless you want to like really have those like banging eyebrows then just do this um, yeah, so that's good enough, and then we will put on a little bit of highlight. I'm not really feeling blush right now, and I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics highlighter in French Vanilla. Just, I use it a lot, as you can tell. Just going to put a little bit right there. Go around a little bit. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good and again I'm not really do like this is about how fast I normally do my makeup but this we're focusing on this bad boy today so for my everyday makeup look I go in first of all with a big fluffy brush and I will go in one of these like transition shades at the top we're going to use the darker one I think today the fourth one and we are going to just go Sorry, I'm looking down because my mirror is down here for the third time, but it's really weird. I'm trying to like look in the camera, even though I know I'm not even looking in the camera. I'm looking in the, like the screen, but okay. So this is our natural look we're going for. 
and again natural is different for everybody this is just like what I consider natural because literally in high school I would go every day with a smoky eye which is not a good look Claire I don't know why I did that um but okay so next we are going to go use hmm, this color right there um just a little bit on that you can use that same big fluffy brush honestly like it's darker so it's not really gonna make a big difference and so we're just gonna do that like in the corner the outer corner of the eye and yeah so you're thinking like wow oh, it's really dark well it's really not that dark in person um, okay so now we have done those we are going to go in with not a like super fluffy brush again i wrapped up on that sonia cashew however you say it sale at target and so these brushes don't really have numbers they came in like these big kits that i bought and so they are really great but they i don't know how to explain them so you're gonna go in like not a super fluffy brush but not like a flat brush and we are going to go into this color right here which is personally like my favorite because it's super shimmery but not too shimmery and so this really looks good on everyone and we're just gonna go right on the base of the eye the base of that the center of the eye see I don't even know what I'm talking about because I've never done this before this is my first makeup tutorial so again I am a little nervous and I'm talking really fast but whatever if you don't like it you can leave I guess but um yeah okay that's that's what we're gonna do for that um so it does add like a little shimmer and sorry the sun is starting to set so you can't really see as good I look like, like an egg with the without the bangs but um so yeah so that's my that part of that and so now we are going to sorry I keep making so many like weird noises and saying weird words but um we're gonna go back in with that same color we used earlier and just get a little bit I just want a little bit more kind of like edge it out I don't think anything I'm saying really is making a whole lot of sense but if you follow along you'll understand I guess um but yeah okay so that's pretty much that um so it's super simple I really only use like four or five colors but for the very last step we're gonna go in with this like highlighter shade which I honestly sometimes use this as a highlighter too because it's super like pigmented and just so pretty and so yeah um we're just gonna put that on the inner corners of our eye and also if you want to get a little fancy with it you can just put it on your brow bone like that and um sorry I kind of yeah so that's basically as good as that's gonna get but um so yeah this is like natural ish look and a lot of the time which I am gonna do today it's not natural I guess because it's black eyeliner but I use this Urban Decay 24 Glide on eye pencil in the color perversion in it I've always wondered why makeup gurus like do this but now like because it makes you feel like official when you do it um and I'm gonna put it on my waterline because it just makes your eyelashes look darker like after you put on mascara and sorry you will notice my eyeballs are just like huge um they're really big but I'm just today I'm just gonna put it on the top waterline and yeah okay so okay so now that we have finished the actual eyeshadow we are gonna finish up with some mascara and we're just gonna curl the lashes just so it'll go on a little bit easier I'm gonna be using the voluminous lash paradise um mascara who makes this l'oreal this stuff is supposed to be compared to like the better than sex by um Too faced mascara which i do love it's really nice but um this is just a super duper cheaper version of that and so i do recommend it so we're just gonna put like not a whole lot of mascara on and i say this is like a natural look because 
You're not using brat colors. You're not using fake lashes. You're not using like a bright. I'm not gonna use a bright lipstick or like super bright blush. You know, like it's more just kind of natural. And so yeah, we're gonna finish up that. Like normally if I'm like really going somewhere and I'm doing this like natural look, I will put like still coats and coats of mascara on and you can still do that. Like, I'm Okay, so for today's like last step, we are going to do the lips. Um, and again, this is like natural. So we're going to do a more natural color, I guess. Um, so we're just going to do like a more natural color. And honestly, Victoria's Secret makeup line, like, they used to be really into the makeup, and then they kind of, like, stopped it, but then, like, now they're bringing it back. But their lipsticks are so underrated. Like, this color, it is, <laughs> this color, it is, uh, Innocence in their, um, like, I think it's a, it's like a velvety feel. Um, it's just like a nudie color, and it's really pretty, um... But, like, all their formulas are so pigmented and comfortable to wear. Sorry, I have, like, the worst. I make the worst faces when I do this. But, um, our last step for today's, like, easy natural look. I'm just going to spray my face with this MAC Prep, Prep and Prime. And it's in, um, it's coconut flavored. And it smells so good. So, like, if you don't have it and you're looking to buy some MAC setting spray, get the coconut one, because it's, it smells really good. But, um, okay, so that's pretty much my whole look. I'm gonna take this ugly thing down. My bangs are gonna be, like, poking up everywhere, so I have to, like, wet them down and fix them. I'll be right. Okay, so I slightly tamed the bangs. Um, I threw on a pair of hoops, because I'll literally wear hoops every day. I wear them to class. I wear them to church. I wear them to the grocery store. I wear them to study at the library. I wear hoops every day. But, um, my hair's a little crazy and sorry. It's a little wet. I did try to, like, take a fast shower before I shot this video. But, yeah, this is the final look. And it's just what I wear. Basically, this is, like, my go-to in the Jaclyn Hill palette when I'm not trying to get creative or fancy which I do like to play around with makeup I do it all the time when I'm bored to me it like helps out if I'm having like anxiety or like stressed out I just go and play with my makeup so yeah I hope you really like this video sorry I've mumbled so much and it took me so long to like explain everything again this is my first makeup tutorial and I'm not um a professional but I do love makeup and I wear it every day just about and so, yeah, I hope you really enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Comment um, how you do your natural makeup looks, what palettes you use. And let me know if you like it. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you hated it, which you probably did because it was super awkward. But, yeah, thank you for watching.